All right, guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another episode of this Valencia Rebuild. Things are going pretty well so far, but I think we can do a lot better if we can get up the table here. I forgot this up right at the start of the video. I see the Liga Santander not too far off Barcelona. They are basically three points ahead of us. Letico and Real just two points behind. So we're in a nice little spot here as well as we go through things. If we get to the Champions League up here, I can show you guys we've got a tough clash. I believe it's against Arsenal, if I remember correctly. If I'm correct, it should be... Yeah, we're playing Arsenal, so... Not the best start, but we... Actually, it's actually a pretty health... Actually, think about it, that's actually a pretty good start. I'd rather play them than Bayern, Paris, Barca, Real, Atletico, Dortmund, Manchester United, or the Man City, or Juventus. So, actually take that back. It's actually a good start. But yeah, it's cracking into this second half of the season. A big second half of the season. Could we win the league and the Champions League this time around? Could we do that? Let's find out. The end of the transfer win here in January. I have stuck put. Didn't decide to get anyone. Decided to keep what we had. Um, not really interested in any signings. I felt like there was potentially some offers out there, but I just couldn't really figure out what the problem was. Top deals this time around. Dahoud for 72.6 million PSG. Icardi to Chelsea for 6 million. That's a good deal. And then Yuri Tillemans to AC Milan for 63.1. I mean, if you see our squad, like there's not really a glaring need. I mean, maybe a second striker and probably put Guedes back on the left mid I don't know very difficult to figure this out right now maybe new formation change is needed it's like it I'm not really sure where our problem is right now so just gonna think about the problem where it would fix because we are gonna need to keep buying I think if we're gonna get better maybe we have to just bolster our subs bench up but I feel like we got the team to win here we are game against FC Barcelona we're at home unfortunately Yao Cancelo is done for the season. So we will not see him again for the season. And Pereira from the penalty spot, two minutes into the game, getting us the goal. That is a huge, huge start for us. Can we hold it out now? This is an, such an important game. I think Barcelona are seven points ahead of us. We cannot give them that gap, that lead. Brasher comes on for Dembele. That's a pretty good substitution to be able to make. And all the three substitutions for Lorenzi, for Semedo, Nagolan for Samper. Lado for top. Messi gets them the equalizer, and that is a killer to concede. Surely that might be the La Liga title wrapped up here in early February. Here we play Arsenal in the first leg of the Champions League. We're heading to Arsenal, we're heading to the Emirates. This is a huge game. Arsenal playing a 5 2 2 1 interesting formation. Topics of yellow card. We cannot afford to lose any of these guys, really, when it comes to our defense. It's been with a tail injury, 30 minutes gone though, still nil-nil here. I'd take a nil-nil and take it back home, but it would love a goal. That way goal would be so key to have, but Gaia gets it first, our left back with a nice good start there. They have Royce, Orban picks up an injury, still up 1-0, 20 minutes to go, 15 to go, 10 to go, 5. Can we hold out? Yes, we can. That key away goal and even better, the away victory. We'll take that. Let's push on as we take this home in two weeks' time. The reverse fixture here in the Champions League as we host Arsenal here. We have that 1-0 buffer, of course, but they get an away goal. They'll wipe that right off the board. So we need to be vigilant. We need to be ready to play, and we need to attack them every chance we get here. Love nearly goals. Put the game ahead. Play. Neves does exactly that. 21st minute goal. Exactly what we wanted. 2-0 up in aggregate here. Can we push through? Half time has come and gone. 60 minute mark. What is going to happen here? Come from substitutions. Pereira gets us a second. That's it. That's all over. 3 0 up. There's no comeback for Arsenal now. Five minutes to go. It's all over. We're going through. Big win for Valencia there. That's a 3 0 aggregate. Really, it came out of that big away goal that we got. And that really pretty much what, what secured it for us. So, great win, boys. Let's push on. Real Madrid in La Liga. I feel this is do or die stage now. If we want any chance of winning the league, we have to win this game today. It's that simple. Our left back, right back, both out for the rest of the season. Not feeling that very confident, with especially when they've got absolute world class right back and our left back. So we are in a bit of trouble here. I feel like as like Madrid can take us apart here. Fifteen minutes gone, nil nil. Very quiet game so far. Not much action. Varane coming on for Marcel, but an interesting call there. Mina coming on for Werner. Not exactly what you want to see. Not looking too good. Guedes gets us the goal in the eighty fourth minute. That is exactly what we needed, boys. Especially with the game that's coming up in four days' time in the Champions League. Oh, it's going to be an absolute crack when we get there. But that was a huge win. We get the Real Madrid scalp. Huge win there, boys. That gives us a slimmer of hope in La Liga.
Here is the La Liga table after 31 games played. Wow, we have no losses so far this season. That's unheard of. Wow. Okay, so let's go to the table. Let's go with the Barcelona on top there. You see it's 70 points. Atletico Madrid at 68. We're in third place with 67. As you see, that win against Real Madrid was so important. It's seven games to go. Anything like a six-point lead, I think Barcelona are safe. But look how close we are. We haven't lost a game. We've had 13 draws this season. It's just, it's unheard of to draw that many games. But, you know, we've conceded the least in the league. And that's exactly how I like things to be. I like to concede the least, score the most. We haven't scored the most just yet, but we're still working on that offense. But this is going to be a tight finish with seven games to go. How we will find out. But anyway, let's go play our Champions League game, which is going to be against a crack against another La Liga team. Time to run the gauntlet here in the Champions League quarterfinal stage. We are playing Barcelona. I mean, this is we're running the gauntlet right now. This is this Blankovic, Savic, Dembele, Telles, left back, Boateng, Mina. Oh my God, Rashford, Suarez, Mbappe. Wow, wow. No wonder why they're at top of the league. Anyway, half time is coming gone. Still nil nil. Sixty minutes. Still nil nil. Just the yellow card for Taz. Not a good sign. We cannot afford to have him suspended a game. Doesn't look like much action here. Can we get a last minute goal? Last minute goal? No, unfortunately not. And we'll take a nil-nil draw into that second leg. We didn't give the away goal. That's the most important part. But we are probably going to need an away goal if we want to win this game. But this is going to be yeah. This is going to be a heck of a contest. This is it. No more second chances. No more mulligans. This is the second leg. We're away. We're at the No Camp. We're at Barcelona's home paddock. We've got to perform. This is it, quarterfinals, nil-nil in aggregate. Remember that is nil-nil in aggregate. So a 1-1 one -one draw wins the first, but Boatang immediately off the bat scores for Barcelona. We need that away goal. Where is this away goal? My fingers are crossed. Come on. So oh, Mbappe. No. No. Oh. I mean, let's be fair. Their side is just it outrageously good. And that really, uh, with 10 minutes to go, that's it. And Bappe just rubs salt in the wounds. That's 3 0. And that is our Champions League over and done with. It's been a good run. It is tough to win the Champions League without your starting left back and starting right back. But we did well. Unfortunately, our defense kind of fell apart there. But we'll be back next year. We'll always come back to it. Hopefully, we can win it next season. But let's see how we go. Anyway, let's push on. Here's the league table after 35 games played. Barcelona falling off big at the end of the season. We are still in contention along with Atletico Madrid. And this is how it's going to come down to. I feel like this is, this, this is, you can't make yourself up. Our final game of the season is against Atletico Madrid. What a, if it's one point, what a title decider that game could be. I mean, it could be incredible. Like we could, if we if we draw one, they lose one. Neck neck and points. It could come down to goal difference. This is neck and neck. Three games to go. I'm going to show you all three games because these are huge. Will we? I mean, could we do an invincibles run? I mean, invincibles run would be unbelievable. I think we could do an invincibles run in Spain with likes of Madrid, Atletico, Barca. Unheard of, but look at those draws. We have 13 draws. It's just it, that's just unbelievable amount of draws. Second most draws in the league. Sporting's in the most, but whew, here we go. Let's do this. Los Palmas home in La Liga. This is game 36. This is the third last game of the season. Feeling nervous. John the topics, man. That's not good. Anyway, we're gonna fast forward. Three, two, one. 4-1 win. We'll take that. Lovely. Love that. Love to see that. Hopefully, Ta is not too badly injured. Game here versus Real Sociedad. We're away. It's not the best thing. I hope. Wish it was at home. But here we go. Ta is out injured for today's game. We're going to fast forward. 3-2-1. 2-0 victory. We'll take it. This sets up an unbelievable final game of the season. Looking so looking forward to this. Oh, this is going to be an interesting finish. That's how I look at this. Last game of the season. Here it is. If Atletico beat us, they win. We draw, we win. We win. We win the title. It'll be an invincible season. Anything more than a draw, we lose that title on the final day of the season. Come on, boys. Let's get this wrapped up. Just 
play for the draw. I don't but park the bus, park everyone behind the ball. We've got to win this. Let's go. Here we are, final game of the league season. Let's crack this on. Come on, I want this title. We need to win this title. Just do it for us, boys. Come on. Let's see what you can get done here. 15 minutes gone. We are at home, which is even better. I didn't even realize we're at home. I was so nervous looking at this game. Talis gets us to the opening goal. That's exactly what we want. We want to win it up. Go for the draw. Just play for the draw, boys. Just hold the lead now. Park the bus. Park the bus. Park the bus. Valencia. Park the bus. Park the bus. Valencia. 2 0. Timo Warner. Costa goes off injured. Talis gets the pen. Make it 3. But it's not going to matter. We are champions of La Liga Santander. Boom, boom, boom. They're going to party in the streets of Valencia tonight. What a finish to the season. A 2 0 win over Atletico. And that solidifies us as champions of La Liga. Final game is the Copa de España final. Can we put up a league double here? It'd be the greatest finish to the season we could have. That, that, this Barcelona team is just like, look at the look at the depth in that team. Manzuki, Suarez, Rodriguez, Rashford, Milenkovic, Savage, Frenzy Kielsen, Mbappe, Messi, Coutinho, Busquets, Gomez, Dembele, Telles, Boateng sent off, Socrates, Smedu, Justin. We got to go with Boateng. 2 0 up. This surely is going to be it. Can we hold out? 15 minutes to go, boys. 10 minutes to go. This unbelievable Barca side. How about that one? Get in there. Oh, my God. Boateng red carded. Timo Warner scoring. And that was the beginning of the end for that Barcelona side. But what a win. What a brilliant season. Pick up the double. We didn't win the one we want to win. That is the Champions League. But there's always next season. And that is going to be our goal for next season. So here is the final La Liga table as we finish off. Not only just winning the Liga, we also won the Liga Copa de España. That's a great season for us, I feel. Like. Undefeated as well, which is just mind-blowing. Because I was almost sure I lost something in the first two, mo two months of the season. 25 wins, 13 draws, 88 points. An unbelievable, just an absolute brilliant season. Our defense really is good. Especially the fact that we lost Cancelo for five months. We lost uh, Gaia for th two months with, a with injuries. Great, great season. I, I don't think we could replicate that season, or I don't think I could replicate that season in a, in a rebuild again, but just a brilliant, brilliant job of the team. I feel like Atletico, Barca probably fell off the end there, just kind of when they needed it most, but you know, we scored the most goals, which is always a key stat, but I still feel like we're just a little bit further away if we want to win the Champions League. And to be honest, I think it's going to come out of either, I'm going to look at potentially getting a new striker or potentially looking to add depth to the side. I really need to see what our budget is for next season. But personally, I feel like maybe the depth's the issue because see like this season, once we got the injuries, we kind of fell apart. So maybe I'll have a look at that in a sec. But let's check that. Anyway, that is a, that's a fantastic season. I can't argue with that anymore. Team of Warner won the Golden Boot. Plank, brilliant signing. I mean, what a brilliant, brilliant piece of business we got to get him into the team. He's been a marvelous signing. Absolutely brilliant, brilliant player. Hopefully, though, anyway, let's crack on into the stats and have a look at how our players did. Okay, goals for the season. Timo Warner, 25. Guedes, 24. Pereira, 13. Gretzka, 13. Talisca, 9. Santimina, backup striker, 6. Seller, 6. Cancelo with 5, interesting enough. And Guy with 3 as well. So, good to see them boys chipping in when we needed them to assist-wise. Who's assist leader? Talisca and Gretzka from the midfield conceding. Cancelo with 8. That's why he was such an important player to us this season. Unfortunately, getting banged out earlier was such a huge loss to the team. But again, quality, quality player. And I mean, we really are improving this team. Most expensive player. Who's our most expensive asset, I wonder? Maybe some really expensive players. I mean, I'm probably going to say it's going to be Goretzka. Yeah, Goretzka, 79 million if you want to buy Goretzka. Wow. We actually got an offer. We actually got an actual fee for him for Man United for 90. I was like, no, not happening. Goes the team. Expensive players. Pereira, Guedes. Pereira and Guedes. Interesting. Guedes would be a bit higher, but Pereira obviously... Kind of my solar not quite bouncing as quickly as I need him to. I need a bit more speed from you, Carlos. Come on. Yeah, looking good so far the team. Looking some nice assets there that are hopefully gonna improve. Okay, before we wrap this video up, let's talk about what my plans are for next season quickly. As I just haven't any research on this yet, I'm literally just gonna go with what I'm seeing off here and what I'm what I'm feeling, what I'm thinking. Personally, I feel like this team is good enough to win it all. I feel like Solar, Pereira, and Guetta still have a ton of growing to do. I think Team Warner is about number two, maybe potential to go. I mean, Goretzka at a 90 is unbelievable. Taliska is pretty good as well. Potentially might look for a new right left wing, maybe somebody like a Griezmann and Eden Hazard, someone who can just, you know, 
take the top off a team and be that world class, you know, an 88, 89 type of player, maybe even 88, 89 striker if I can find one. I was trying to get Murata before the season, I don't think I can get that done now. The fact that Real Madrid bought him. The defense, I feel like defense is it, it's good enough, but the depth is what scares me when it comes to it. I'm going to show you the second team a bit. Goalkeeper, do we need another goalkeeper than Donnarumma? He's 90 overall. I don't think we need to, need to even think of getting another one. This is the second team at the moment. Uh, Nani is actually leaving us as well. I forgot to mention that he is going to sign a pre-contract, so he is going to be off. You know, Vidal Lada, they're, they're good depth, but is there better out there? That's something we're going to have to ask. I think I do need to get another centre-back depth. Police does a good backup. But I feel like we need another 82, 83, 84 backup center back just in case our starting center back is injured. Maybe another right back as well. I think Lado is a bit more growth to them, so I'm going to that. But I have to look up at Fidal. You know, maybe a left winger as well. Someone just to come into the side and just settle it down. But maybe, I don't know. It's, it's a tricky one. Like, I feel like, I feel like we're right there. We're so close to that top spot. It's just, we're getting pretty close. Like, I don't think we have any more. Do we have anyone else on the left that can play left? Not really, so... The end of the day, uh, I feel like we're gonna have to invest in, in a center back, right back, and a left wing, maybe even a, a, another striker because I think Medran's playing a kind of a center forward camera all there. But this is the second thing, of course, so I'm not really sure what's gonna happen. But I feel like we're in a good position, I really like where we are. I think we're so close to that, that pinnacle point. It's gonna see how much money we have in the new year. Once I figure out which way of the new season, I'll start going to business like this, I'll start working it right. What we do, because I feel like I'd rather get three to four depth signings out of the way nice and early, get those depth signings, and then see what you can do with that. Because I feel like the depth is important. I feel like we have the team that could win a Champions League. That's the most important part. I, I, I'd struggle to, to replace Solar, Pereira, Guedes, someone someone better. I think we'd struggle to find someone better than Taliska. I think we'd struggle to find someone better than Gaia or Canseo that we could actually buy. So we're kind of limited in that area but hopefully we can you know continue on and find someone who's going to be a star player for us that's the biggest issue we're going to have to do but anyway that is all for this season unfortunately we did not complete the champions league so we do have another season to go we did win the liga we did win the copa de España. that is our double done for the season so now we, all, we can literally finish last in the liga and win the champions league next season and the challenge is done hopefully we can go do that but it's going to be a tricky tricky year next year i'm looking forward and hope you guys are too I'll see you guys then. Should be a cracker of an episode. Anyway, guys, peace out. Enjoy your day. And I'll see you guys very, very soon.